Good morning, Guardians. Briar Rabbit here. Today is Friday. That means Zer is back in the tower. He's hanging out in the hangar right over here. It's been a really exciting week in Destiny. I'm, I can't tell you how much I've been enjoying raiding with you guys uh, over the past few days. Doing Vault of Glass either with old vets or people who have never done it before. Uh, just learning the new challenge modes has been a blast. I really enjoy the Vault of Glass. Love getting all the loot out of it. The Fate Bringer, the Vision of Confluence. You know, it's just been an absolute blast. I'm really enjoying Age of Triumph. Uh, but now, let's get back to the point of this video. It's Zer. <laughs> uh, what's he got this week? So, of course, we have a Legacy Engram. This is a Year 1 Power Level Exotic Special Weapon. So if you need a Year 1 Exotic, go here to get it for 31 Strange Coins. Uh, first, for the Titan, we got the Crest of Alpha Lupi. Uh, the main perk here is Keeper of the Pack. Revive Fallen Teammates and be revived faster. That part of this perk got nerfed, uh, I think it was a year, maybe a year and a half, maybe even two years ago. Uh, it used to be that you could sprint past a fallen teammate and hold down the revive button, never stop, and he would pop up as you ran by. They nerfed that. It takes longer to revive it, even if you're running uh, Keeper of the Pack Exotic. So that utility has been nerfed somewhat. It still is a little bit faster than normal, but not nearly as big a difference as it used to be. However, Supers Generate an Extra Orb is actually pretty useful, especially, I think, in PvE. You know, let's say you're a Bubble Titan, uh, and you're popping a bubble in the Templar uh, portion of the Vault of Glass raid. There's not a whole lot ex of exotics right there that are really going to be super useful. So if you pop on Crest of Alpha Lupi, uh, that makes more orbs for your teammates, meaning that another Titan can pop another bubble sooner. It means that a Hunter could pop a uh, Tether sooner. Like that kind of thing will just waterfall and build upon itself. So anytime you've got a chance to create extra orbs inside a raid, it's not a bad way to go. It's not the, you know, it's not the fanciest of exotics. It's not the most spectacular of exotics. It's just useful and Good teammates use this kind of thing. Uh, the roll on this is increased intellect and increased strength. I believe it's a 93% roll, so it's not awful, but it's not great either. Uh, we've got pulse rifle ammo, sniper rifle ammo, solar recovery, and solar armor. I'd probably re-roll this depending on how you plan to use it. Next up for the hunters, we've got the Shinobu's Vow. Main perk here is new tricks. It improves skip grenade, and you gain an additional skip grenade charge. So this was nerfed not too long ago, but not enough in my opinion. <laughs> skip grenades are everywhere. Shinobu's Vow is everywhere, and it's going to be even more everywhere because this week it comes with a super good 98% roll in discipline and strength. So expect to see even more of these around uh, this weekend in Trials. Uh, it's a very good exotic. If you don't have it on your Blade Dancer, you definitely want it. Um, unfortunately, it's just a bit annoying. It <laughs> uh, gets fastball, increased grenade throw distance, momentum transfer, gain bonus melee energy on grenade hits. We got auto rifle loader and fusion rifle loader. Next up for the Warlocks, we got the Ram. Main perk on the Ram is strength of the Ram. Increased armor. All Voidwalker melees trigger lifesteal on hit. So... Double duty if you're using a Void Walker, uh, but increased armor for all Warlock subclasses, which can be useful in a variety of situations. It's kind of fallen out of favor for PvP guys. There's just better exotics for PvP at this point, and they, at one point, I think uh, around two years ago, I can't remember the exact times they did these nerfs. They've done so many of them, but they did pull back on how much more armor this gives you. Uh, I will run this occasionally in a raid, uh, especially during really hard sections where my health might be at risk, or if I'm doing something really risky, like running the Relic uh, during the Templar fight in Vault of Glass. Uh, there's definitely other exotics that outshine this thing. This isn't a particularly good roll. Uh, it's an 86% roll in Discipline and Strength, so you're definitely going to want to re-roll this thing uh, if you do pick it up this week. Uh, but it's got some utility. There are some times where you just want a ton of health on your walk, uh, on your uh, warlock, and this will help out with that. Uh, this one's got hands-on, second thoughts, and invigoration. Next up, our weapon of the week is pretty infamous. It's the Invective. Uh, main perks here are full auto, accurized ballistics, field choke, linear compensator, 
final round. Quick draw, fitted stock, send it. And the main perk is Invective. This weapon regenerates ammo over time, making it a pretty popular choice these days in the uh, in the Crucible because of how how difficult it can be to keep your special ammo. Basically, every time you die, you lose special ammo. Uh, if you don't have a chance to get to a special ammo brick uh, in the new Crucible, the Invective will eventually start to spawn ammo directly into it. Uh, which can be useful, uh, however, it does take a long time, so that's a thing. Invective, you know, it's not the best shotgun out there, although it's pretty damn good because it's got full auto and enough range and impact that usually, even if it doesn't kill a guy on the first shot, it's the second or third shot's going to clean the job up. So it's not a bad shotgun by any means, um, and it does somewhat bypass the special ammo restrictions. All right, next up, we got the weapon bundles. This week, we've got the Invective back, and it comes with Storm's Reproach. So you can either buy the Invective for 17 Strange Coins or buy the Invective plus the Storm's Reproach um, ornament, which is actually pretty cool. It kind of crackles the thing up. It almost looks like a volcano. Uh, you can do that for 30 Strange Coins and 25 Silver Dust. Uh, or you can buy Truth and Heart of Gold, which just turns your Truth gold. Uh, you can buy the rocket launcher and the ornament for 30 strange coins and 25 gold dust. Of course, we got curios. We got plasma drive and stealth drive to turn your blue rare sparrow into legendary and change the color of its contrail. We've got heavy ammo synthesis. You should be buying this right now if you're raiding. Have full stacks of heavy ammo. Uh, if you're going into Crota or you're going into the Vault of Glass, you're going to want some heavy ammo. It's very important. People have been kind of lax about this on the raid teams I've been on, and it really helps if everybody's got some stacks of these, you know? So go in, buy a bunch of heavy ammo before you go raiding because it's super helpful to not have to worry about getting heavy ammo drops. Uh, so definitely buy these. Uh, you can buy three of them for one strange coin or 10 of them for three strange coins, which is very, very nice. And we got three of coins to uh, help you get some exotics. That's seven strange coins. Of course, we got glass needles, uh, mozzalite, and exotic shards. So that's Zur this week. You know, I really do like those exotic bundles. I think that's pretty exciting. It's a little disappointing that he was selling the Invective basically twice today. Uh, one as this weapon of the week and one in an exotic bundle. Hopefully that's random and it won't happen too often. Uh, but I do like that you can get those you basically have an option to buy those from Zer directly. So, like, if your RNG has been bad and you haven't been able to get the Heart of Gold, it's nice to be able to just pick those up. I think that's a nice feature, uh, but whatever. So, I'll be raiding a lot this weekend. Uh, I do am working some photography, though, so that, that'll be fun, too. I haven't been outside working photography in a little while. It's been a long, cold winter. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys later.